this is a constant pattern that we see across industry. That's not something that's restricted to a specific industry. As the, as the popular saying goes, every industry is a tech industry. Well, what it means is that every industry also needs to shift towards platform thinking. If you think about telecoms and IT, around about 2000, it was a very tightly integrated industry. A lot of things were consolidated into the carrier, the infrastructure provider, and the device supplier. And similarly in the IT industry, at least on the desktop, it was either Windows or it was Mac. And that kind of structure has, um, you know, has an understandable effect. In a capitalist economy, when you, when you consolidate all the profit opportunities in a very small number of companies, you generate opposition. And you generate opposition from people who are, who are very skilled, very energetic, see it all in a different way. In fact, some of those people were in middle management, middle, middle management in Nokia. They saw it a different way, but they couldn't communicate that up the chain. So you had, around about 2000, a really strong sense that this, this industry needed pulling apart. Not that it would be pulled apart, but it needed to be pulled apart. So the disruption factor is to say, you know, for years people wanted to pull the walls down, just like they want to do in banking. And two companies came along and organized all that entrepreneurial activity and just blew it horizontally. And if you look now at what the mobile industry represents in particular, uh, Apple and Google have gone into health, they've gone into the home, they've gone into the enterprise, they're now into payments. There is virtually no industry that these players can't move into with the power of a very strong organizing hub that we'll call the platform and with the support of this ecosystem of very eager um, startups. Who's going to say, you know, let's, let's abandon this idea of core competency. Let's actually look to the kinds of adjacencies that we can organize, and let's look to our platform. Because for me, when I look at banking, the most obvious thing is that banks, above all other sectors, have natural platform advantages. Banks have been doing platforms since the mid-1990s. And I think some of the platforms in the banking sector are, are as powerful uh, as anything you'll see in the tech sector. And people invest in them. If you look at Apple's investments in, in its platform, probably a billion a year, billion dollars a year. Expedia just invested 500 million in upgrading its platform. So somebody in banking has to say, we can make that kind of investment on an annual basis. But by doing that, we'll actually, we will transform this industry. But you have these other platforms that are eating away at the edges. You have the startup community starting to do the same. And you have these new horizontal platforms like Bitcoin, uh, and Ripple, and, and I don't know, Ripple said yesterday it doesn't compete with Swift, I don't believe that, but, but we'll see what happens with the kind of energy that's behind that at the moment.